Hi everybody, Yosef Yah here. I know it's been a while since I put a video up, but I've been so busy with life and stuff, you know. <laughs> and uh, so now I find the time to put up another video on a subject that I believe you, you will all find very, very interesting. Now, this video is not intended as proof for the Flat Earth or anything like that. This is a faith builder for those who already believe in Biblical cosmology. Now, when we think of Biblical cosmology and the scriptural proof to back it up, we always think of, Old Test we always think of the Old Testament. We often cite uh, scripture verses such as Genesis 1-6, then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Job 37.18 With him have you spread out the skies, strong as a cast metal mirror? Psalm 104.5 You who laid the foundations of the earth, so that it should not be removed forever. Job 26.10 he drew a circular horizon on the face of the waters at the boundary of light and darkness. Job 38, 4 through 6. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid its cornerstone? Now there are those who are believers, you know, who believe in, in the Messiah and who believe in the Word, that say that, that the term foundations of the earth is indicative of the beginning of creation. But I want you to think about this for a minute because we have multiple foundations described in the scriptures, pillars, a solid firmament, and lastly, a cornerstone. We also have a measuring line that is stretched across the face of it. Now the cornerstone, or foundation stone, or setting stone, is the first stone set in the construction of a building's foundation. It's important since all other stones will be set in reference to this stone, thus determining the position of the entire structure. So what do we have? We have Moses, Job, and others, spirit-filled men, describing the earth as a flat, level, and fixed plane. But, Here's the cool part. Did you know that Yahushua, Jesus, also spoke of our earth as being flat and level? This really shouldn't be surprising, for Yahushua is the creator of heaven and earth, right? <laughs> so if he created it, he knows what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> so in Matthew 3.12, Yahushua seems to have inadvertently described the shape of the earth while speaking of the end time judgment of the wicked and the just. In it, he says the following, His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Now, those of us who know the Master Yahushua know full well that he does nothing accidentally, nor is he careless in his choice of words. Yahushua is always clear and precise in all of his speech. In the preceding passage of Matthew 3.12, Yahushua describes the earth as a threshing floor, which Google, if you do a Google search, uh, describes as follows. Threshing floor, a noun, a hard, level surface on which grain is threshed with a flail. Now, <laughs> what's really interesting here is that, uh, you know, he, he described the earth as a threshing floor. He didn't call it a threshing sphere. He didn't call it a threshing orange or a threshing olive. Uh, he called it a floor. Um, so, now that we have that out of the way, let's look at some pictures of threshing floors, shall we? Now, after looking at these pictures, we know of a surety that the Master Yahushua did not mince his words when he described our earth 
our Eretz, our land, as a threshing floor. The Hebrew word Eretz also has a clue of a flat level plain in its description. It's what is translated as earth in the opening verse of the book of Bereshit, also known as Genesis, which states the following. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. The Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew and English lexicon defines Eretz as follows. And you can find this in Strong's as well. It's uh, number H776. Eretz, land, earth, as opposed to heaven, piece of ground, level, or plain country. So see right there, it, it talks about a level, uh, flat level plain country. Now before I close, I would like to add one more witness to this testimony. It is in regards to a scientist by the name of August Anton Picard. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but uh, anyway. He is a Swiss physicist who in 1930 was the first to witness views of Earth from 10 miles up in a specially designed balloon and pressure capsule. Mr. Picard was recorded in a 1931 popular science magazine stating it, i.e. the Earth, seemed a flat disk with an upturned edge. It, i.e. Earth, seemed a flat disk with an upturned edge. Behold the threshing floor of the Lord. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I sincerely hope that it has blessed you by deepening and strengthening your faith in the Lord Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. Amen.